Hi everyone, I'm Miriam. Thanks for joining me. Today I have a very exciting story to tell you about my little brother Moses. When I was young, my family and I lived during a very terrible time in Egypt. My people are not Egyptians, but we are Israelites, and we serve the one true God, Yahweh. There are no other gods besides Yahweh. During this time, my people, the Israelites, were slaves to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh, he was a very, very mean ruler. During that time, he had made a law that all Israelite baby boys were to be thrown into the Nile River. It was terrible. Pharaoh made this law just because he was scared that the Israelites would, you know, become an army, maybe even fight against him. But honestly, we're peaceful people. We serve a peaceful and loving God, and we knew that one day that our God, Yahweh, would deliver us out of slavery from the Egyptians. Anyway, back to my brother. So Moses was born, and my mother and I were just terrified. We didn't know what to do. The soldiers were coming door to door, taking the baby boys from their families. But I had an idea. My mother and I prayed, and we talked to God, and we listened, and we knew what to do. We had to take a big risk. We decided to put Moses in a basket and let him just float in the river. Hopefully, someone kind would find him that would save him from the Egyptians. So I followed the basket in the river. I hid behind some bushes and I watched as the basket floated up to the princess, Pharaoh's daughter. I was so scared, I stayed hidden. The basket floated up and she saw it. She told her maidservant to go get it and look inside. They were shocked when they saw my baby brother in the basket. The princess immediately wanted to take care of him, but she realized she didn't have anyone to feed Moses. He was just a newborn baby. So even though I was pretty shy, I stood up and I said, my mother can. What the princess didn't know was that Moses, the baby, he was my real brother. I can't believe that the princess let me take Moses back home to my mother. My mother and I were so excited that we got to take care of Moses for a few more years and teach him everything he needs to know about our people and the one true God, Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that was the best thing for him. 